Are you thinking about making a move down to Hinesville, Georgia? Or maybe you're about to PCS due to the military down in Fort Stewart. In this video, I'm gonna give you a couple reasons why that might not be a reason to be so happy. Let's go. All right, how you doing everybody? My name is Otho Hampton with Wacker Realtors Real Estate Professionals. I wanna welcome you back to my channel. If it's your first time visiting the channel, go ahead and smash that like button and go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you'll catch every time I drop a video. Now, it's an ongoing debate really as to what is the best thing to do in the area. I know when you're online looking for, you know, various areas or looking for things to, you know, check out a new place that you might be moving to. If you look at the videos or whatever, you look at all the blogs or whatnot, they may be giving you a skewed outlook of things or whatever the case may be. Um, I know if you look at a few videos, they'll always tell you the good things about a neighborhood or the good things about a, a, a different duty station or whatnot. Well, in this video, I'm going to do the exact opposite. I'm giving you a couple reasons why you would not like your move down here to Fort Stewart, Georgia or Hinesville, Georgia, to be exact. Number one, the heat. The heat is ridiculous. And when I say ridiculous, I mean like you step outside your door and you instantly have an attitude ridiculous. That right there in itself would be one of the main reasons why you're not going to like being down here. Um, I'll say July and August. We haven't even, I don't think we haven't, I don't even think we've touched our, our hottest moments. Uh, we had a couple of days already earlier, I think last month, uh, the middle of last month, um, June rather. I think the temp got up to about 100, 99, 100, but with, you know, with humidity, of course, that's going to take it up even another notch. So just saying around if the temperature is like 98 degrees, you can count on a feeling like it's like 110, 108, 105, something of that nature. It's unbearable. Definitely that. Um, the next thing that we have that's probably going to make you miserable um, are the nets. Now, these little things, when I say are irritable, it's like they go on... They go on like little suicide missions. You see what I'm saying? To to get to get killed. They they fly around. They fly in your ears. They fly in your nose. But then all of a sudden, you get those one those one or twos that just fly like right in your eye area, and immediately it's a reaction. I don't. I, I still to this day don't understand why that happens. But yeah. The nets, they are a pest. I, I loathe, I think that's the word, I loathe them. But, hey, if you're coming here thinking that you're going to have all this fun, you know, there's, there's so much to do, what not, there's not. There's absolutely nothing to do for kids outside of going to the park or something of that nature um, in the area. Uh, if you're on Fort Stewart, yeah, you guys have uh, basically the same thing we have out here, except for um, on post you have, you know, you have a bowling alley, you have a little water park, you have a pool, um, things of that nature. But I mean, how often can you go to the pool? We have pools here in, the, in Hinesville off post. Um, but how often can you go to the pool? We don't have a water park, but how often can you do that? Uh, we do have a park. It's called Brian Commons. Uh, it's pretty decent. I mean, it's nothing spectacular, but, you know, it serves its purpose. Uh, but as far as just wanting to do things with the kids, um, stuff like that, there, 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 there is none. If you're a shopper, 
if you're an avid shopper and you're you, you know you're accustomed to going to you know going to the mall or going to the outlets or going to any type of shopping center type situations don't look for that when you get there there is slim to none to have you know if there's a slim to none chance of having a, a great shopping experience now do we have you know stores or whatnot yeah we do you know we have this store called Hibbets. Um, and we also have another store called Profi. Then we have a big chain store called, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with Dick's, Dick's Sporting Good. Um, but outside of, outside of that, as far as, you know, going to malls or whatnot, there is no mall here. We have a little simple stores. You might be able to do a couple, you know, pick up a few pieces or whatever. You have a bills, things like that. But Nothing along the caliber of nothing along the caliber of uh, a store or something that you would see in the mall. If you're one of those families that like to eat out all the time, I mean, we do have a few restaurants. You know, we have your Longhorns. Um, you know, the Five Guys. You know, stuff like that. Um, but as far as incredibly fine dining there is none so be prepared for that if you're coming from some place that you're accustomed to you know going out to have going out to maybe these three four five star restaurants or whatever in your immediate area there's none of that going on here definitely um now that's not to take away from what we do have uh longhorns that we have here is an excellent restaurant i mean the food is pretty good um we have also a chick-fil-a that's one of the big box store you know fast food restaurants or whatever um that would basically constitute our our our, our, our big chain fine dining employment opportunities employment opportunities here in the Hinesville area are I wouldn't say null and void because there there are uh, opportunities, but they're they're, they're very slim, and it, it's kind of hard to get in um, at times, based off being being new, of course, and maybe not really knowing anybody. Uh, but there, there there are opportunities that there are opportunities to be had. Um, we have Chemtall, that's one of the biggest um, employers in the area. We also have uh, the Target Warehouse out in Midway. Um, we'll talk about Midway in another video. Uh, but those are one of the two, you know, main employers here locally in the area. Um, of course, we have our Walmarts and stuff like that, but if that's not necessarily what you're looking for, then one of those two would probably be one of your go-tos, amongst other things. Another thing that you would have to take into account not being very happy about is uh, the possibility of hurricanes. Yes, we do have hurricanes here in Hinesville, and they've been quite uh quite frequent in the past couple years um i think at the time of this video we ha actually have a tropical depression or a tropical storm uh brewing right now which has been dumping um uh, rain all week uh off and on um but yet still you know it's rain out of all the cars that i've talked about really the one for me is the heat and you know me being from Charleston, South Carolina, uh, you would think that I'm accustomed to that, but I've been away from home for quite some time. And upon first moving here to to Hinesville, I, it was like a culture shock. I came here from Newport News, Virginia, which is you know the city, fast-paced, uh, everything 
at your, basically at your fingertips. Um, total culture shock coming down here to Fort Stewart. Um, the humidity, the gnats, uh, just the isol seems like the isolation from the outside world uh, is just it ha it's something to get used to. I, I can definitely say that. Um, if you're one, if you're somebody that likes the hustle and bustle of everyday life, um, you know, in a city life, then you're going to have a hard time um, readjusting here to this environment. So, yeah, I'm not going to make this uh, too incredibly long, um, but it's just a few things that I wanted to tell you guys uh, for those that are possibly PCS into Fort Stewart, Georgia, or thinking about moving down to Hinesville, which in turn is still considered Fort Stewart, Georgia, because it's like right up the street. Um, right, going, it, It's a gate that separates the two, so it's not really that much big of a deal. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know some of the things that you would have to worry about, you know, coming down to the area. Um, I hope that this video gives you a little insight. Um, want it to be a true, uh, a true representation, you know, of what to expect. Like I said, I know you guys probably look at the videos that, oh, you know, this is a beautiful place, this and great place that or whatever the case may be. And it's not really giving you an eye-opening type description of what you're basically getting yourself into. Um, with that being said, have I done anything to, you know, give you a better insight of the area or what to expect? Why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, go ahead and tap that notification bell so that uh, you'll be notified the next time I drop a video. I appreciate you guys taking the time out your day, evening, morning, to uh, check out my channel. I'll see you soon.